Hi, I'm Chris with Texta, and today we're going to be doing an overview of the IDC6 software from starting up to diagnosing and any of our advanced features. So from here, we're going to start it up by clicking on the icon. As you can see from here that uh, the boot up speed is very quick. So from here, we're going to select our environment, which is going to be car. All right. So when you start off, this is the page you're going to land on. From here, you can see AI Smart Diagnosis. So this is where we've had the AI built in along with the diagnosis itself. So once you click into here, basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna automatically bump you into the system scan itself. And from there, you'll be able to see if there's code presence, if there's breakdowns, uh, if there's even troubleshooting for those codes as well. And then we can also go to our right, which will be diagnosis. So this will be the main scan. This will be exactly what it was in IDC5. So if nothing has changed on that, uh, the only thing we've added in on this one, again, is the troubleshooting breakdowns on the codes. But for the selection basis, it's the same. Uh, once we go more, more to the right, uh, this will be your mileage and VIN check. So basically what this is going to do, this function is going to scan the vehicle. And uh, if an if an ECU has a VIN program to it, you'll be able to see it and you'll be able to see uh, what mileage is also programmed onto as well. That way you can tell whether or not the car has been piecemealed together or if there's got different components from different vehicles in it as well. Uh, then we also have vehicle maintenance. So if you just want to get in there and reset the service light, uh, reset any of the functions you can, just you can go right into vehicle maintenance, adjust and scene coding. So, this is where we're going to go if you need to change any of the parameters or if you want to just run a calibration, you can go in through here as well. And then activations and tests, this is going to be our bi-directional. So pretty much anything we can activate and run a test on. And then you'll have your EOBD protocol and this will be your basic, basic scan. This is your code reader right here. So from here, we can go over to our special functions. So this will be the selections for the electric vehicle. Uh, you'll have battery replacement. Anything after that will be for the brake pad replacement. So for any of electrical, your electric calipers, if you need to retract to put them in maintenance mode, you can do it from there and vice versa. You can reactivate them again. Uh, you do have your key coding ability here. Uh, you have language change, transport mode, any of your regens, you can go through on this as well. And then you do have the drive assist selection as well too. So once you get in there, you can actually just go in and just check real quick on what we can do. So you can see everything listed for that. All right, so from here, we can go to the utility program. So this will be all the built-in wiring diagrams, technical data sheets, customer management, and the report repository. So now another cool feature we've actually added here is if you go into favorites, this is where you can select your own. So if you know you're going to get in there, we're going to just select a few things here. You can see what we've selected currently, wiring diagrams, brake pads, oh, let's do key coding. And then from here we can hit save. That'll be your favorites page. So every time you actually connect in on the car, you'll actually be brought to this page instead of the diagnosis page. That way it just makes it quicker and a little bit easier for you as well. So from here, we're going to go into diagnosis. Right now we're going to be scanning into a 2016 Mazda 3, so we'll hit passenger cars. And then if you look to the right here, there's gonna be an orange box. So when you click that, that's gonna be an auto brin. So, so that'll bring up everything on that vehicle. Okay, as you can see now, I just brought it up. So up top, you'll see the make, the year range, engine, and the body makeup on it too. And then you can see the VIN and the battery voltage as well. So from here, once we get into here, we can go up on the left-hand side. So you do have the self-diagnosis here. So that's this page right here. Uh, once you get into here, you can go into alignment check, uh, technical data sheets. So this will be any of the proper procedures or TSPs released. Right here, so you can see what we have for AC, airbag, and the parking brake. Underneath that's gonna be motor. So this is our, this is a database that we're using on this as well. So this will give you remove and replace procedures, relearns here as well. 
Uh, it'll also give you diagrams, TSBs, DTC breakdowns. From here, you also have the maintenance schedules as well. And then you do have your specifications as well on this. So from here, you can see the cylinder head tightening process. And then you have your coolant specifications here as well. Let me just go back. But you could also search up too if you want. And then you'll have all your component locations here. Wiring diagrams here. TSBs. And you can keep scrolling down and it'll have a lot of information on this. All right. So from here, we'll go into customer management. So basically, when you click into the customer management, you'll see that everything's been saved, but each one's gonna be saved underneath a license plate or VIN. You'll see the customer, date of last action. So this way, if this, if you'll know if this is a repeat customer, you can go in here and use this for troubleshooting data. And then this is basically gonna be your way to manage all of the diagnosis that you've done. So from here, we'll go back to self-diagnosis. Once we get here, you'll see the TGS-3. This will be the system scan. This is the first thing we're gonna run on the vehicle. That way we'll know what systems are present and whether or not they have codes or not. From here, you can do the VIN check. And then again, you'll have over here any your maintenance, service resets, any adjustments in coding, or if you just wanna run in and get it, do a test, you can do that as well. So for now, we're gonna hit the TGS-3. So when you click this, it'll show you the cable that's used. You'll see the location of it over here. And then you'll also have a video on where it's located as well. So you'll see the connector right there. That way it'll save you time on trying to hunt for the location. All right, so right now we're scanning through this car system. Now that we're scanning the system, we can see that there are a decent amount of active and memorized codes. So once we go over here, we can click on the code. And from here, we see a breakdown on the code itself. So this looks like this one is just a faulty mass airflow sensor. And then you can see the breakdown on that one. And then you have a yellow one, so this one's actually a memorized code, it's not an active code. Okay. So as we scroll down, we can actually get into here. So anything that's got a green check mark on it, systems present, no code. So from here, we can actually hit the save button. So this is what's gonna be entered into the customer management. Also, if you wanna print this out, you can hit the print button. And then from there, hit PDF. So you could actually save this as a PDF file. So if you need to email it or print it, you can. So we hit continue, and then we'll bring that up real quick. And then you'll see the report itself. So this will be the system report, system check report. All right, so from here, we're gonna go into the engine. Okay. So once we get into here, we can see all our codes listed here. Uh, if we want to go into parameters, you'll be able to see everything here. And then if you want to double tap, you'll be able to see it graphical wise. Otherwise, if you want to search for something specific, you can actually go down here and hit where the star is. And you can actually search for what you want. Or if you want to just create a group from the selection, you can. 
So the good thing with us too is we've also added the ability to record data. So if you have an intermittent issue, you can actually go in, select what you want to record, and then actually go out for a road test. You can try to recreate what caused the code. And then from there, uh, you'll be able to bring it back. It'll import all the data into here and you'll be able to see it. And this, this you'll also be able to view through customer manager as well. And all this gets interpreted through a graphic data. All right, so from here, you could also save this too. So if you want to create one specifically for this group of cars too, you can actually name, write it down. So that way, if you have multiple cars coming in with the same issue, you can actually go in and use the same search groups for it. So if we go right to the text of AI, this will give you uh, another breakdown on what these codes are as well. Okay. And then you have your ECU info here, and then you'll have your activations. So these will be anything that we can make run, any of the tests we can do on here. You have your ejector shutoffs on here. So we'll basically be able to go through that. Now we're gonna go into our heavy hitter features. We can actually go into AI smart diagnosis. So basically this is gonna bring you right into the system scan. It's gonna detect what vehicle it's on and send you right into there. And at this point, we're gonna be using the AI smart diagnosis. And basically what we're trying to do is get as much information in front of you as you can. Cause you know, when you're working on a car, you wanna get done as quick as you can. You're not trying to take up a bunch of time trying to figure out where everything's at. We're gonna actually be able to provide you with as much information as you need. So if we go into here, we can see what the code is. So this, you'll see the breakdown on the code here. And then from here, we can actually have another little addendum to this. We can click on that and then it'll give you a better breakdown on what it is exactly. So this will actually give you the parameters involved and the possible solution for this. And then we can go to the next one. So it's gonna look up through ours. And then you can go into the control unit right here. And again, you'll see a whole breakdown on it. And the cool thing with this is we've also tied in that wiring diagram. So there's multiple ways to get to the wiring diagram on this one. So once you've clicked this little addendum, you can actually hit that wiring diagram button and it's gonna bring you to that component. So you'll be able to see exactly what's causing that and then ways to test it. And on this one, it'll actually give you a pinout as well on it. The other way to hit the wiring diagram is gonna be down here on the right hand side. You can click on this little icon and that'll bring you to that component as well. So it'll show you where it's at. You can see what pins they are, uh, whether or not power ground's going to it, and you go from there. Uh, we do have different ways to view this too. So if you hit the dashboard icon, you'll see exactly what's on each line. So you can hit the purple one, which would be powertrain, and it's gonna highlight just the ones on the powertrain. Then you have your blue for chassis, and then you have your AC system. So you can see that one's highlighted. And then you have your infotainment, which would be this whole bottom row electrical system which you'll see up here and the driver assistance system which is right here and you can also click on them as well so if you want to go in there you'll see the faults listed for it and then you hit diagnose and then we can jump into that system so we can see exactly what's going on with this all right and there we go So the next function I want to show you is the actual diagnostic search that we can do. So we can go up here and click the text AI. And again, this isn't a Google search. This is going to be using our own data from our, our own database. Yeah. Okay. So again, this isn't just going to be Google searching through forums or anything like that. All of this information is going to be provided from our own database. So let's do the dreaded. P0420 code on a 2014 Chevy Caprice.
All right, so we've sent that in. Now we're gonna see what it says. All right, so now it gives you the breakdown of that code itself. So you can search for different codes. All right, let's try another one. So this one is a oxygen, oxygen sensor code. Yep. So we'll have simple as that. You'll be able to go in there, search what it is. Uh, if we have troubleshooting for it, you'll be able to see the troubleshooting as well. That concludes our breakdown on the car software environment. Please stay tuned for any of our new videos that come out. And again, thank you for watching.